welcome, friends, to another exciting episode of A VGM Journey. And I'm your host, The Messenger. The track that we're playing in this week's show is Trickster for Mayor from the game The Flash, and that was composed by Jero and Tell. We've got a real nice variety of tracks on the show this week, including the now super popular Then and Now segment, which I have a song for that later on in the show. And I think we should kick things off with this next track, and that is Run, Jump, Fight from the game Dying Light 2, and that was composed by Olivier de Rivier. track that you just heard that was run jump fight from the game dying light 2 and it was composed by olivier de rivier 
I don't know why I waited until now to play this track on the show. So I've been playing the game on again, off again for the past month and a half, and I loved it. And the score I was very surprised with because I normally don't find myself super interested in these big budgeted orchestral soundtracks too much. But this goes for something a little bit different, and it's mainly the electronic synth sounds that really drew me into this soundtrack. It's not really used too much on this specific track, but it's there and I think it really adds to the track. And the main premise of the game is that you play as this guy named Aiden who finds himself in this city called Villador, which is the last remaining city on Earth during this zombie apocalypse. And you're trying to find your sister, Mia. And I think that's all I'm going to really say about the plot, because there's all these different twists and turns with the story, and that it is one of those games where you have choices and consequences, and that my playthrough of the game would be very different than yours, so... And getting back to the music, this track has a little bit of everything. It's a little suspenseful, it's action-packed, it sounds sad, but also hopeful at the same time. And it seems to be a game that I don't really see too many people in the VGM podcasting community talk about, and it's something that I highly recommend. I think I could talk about the game for an entire episode's worth, but I feel as though we should move on to our next track, which is a request from Utopia Nemo. He wanted me to play the track The End of War from the game Target Earth, a.k.a. Assault Suits Lanos, and that was composed by Takashi Suzuki. <laughs> track that you just heard that was the end of war 
from the game Target Earth, also known as Assault Suits Lanos. It was composed by Takashi Suzuki, and it was requested by Utopia Nemo. So thank you, Utopia Nemo, for that track. I actually have a list of requests from Nemo, and I decided to let my fiance Carly just pick a track that stuck out to her on that list, and she picked this track, obviously. And I could see why both of them like this track. The marching drums and the instrumentation of the FM synths really give this track a feeling of being victorious. You have won the war, and you have brought peace to, I guess, Earth? I don't know. And I absolutely love it when the Genesis tries to go for an orchestral sound, because clearly... It can't sound exactly like an orchestra, not even close. But the FM synth style, I don't know. I, I can't quite put my finger on why I really like it. There's just a, a certain charm to tracks like this. Like, they are such an earworm. So I want to say thank you, Utopia Nemo, for that track again. That was really good. Looks like now's a good time to bring back Then and Now, a new segment that I have where I picked an old track and pick a later arrangement of it and just play them back to back and talk about them. And this time I want to focus on the track Lawanda's Love, which that was originally from Toe Jam and Earl, Panic and Funkotron, and its arrangement from... Toe Jam and Earl, Back in the Groove. It was originally composed by John Baker, and this arrangement was done by Cody Wright. <laughs> Thank you. 
those tracks that you just listened to, that was Lawanda's Love from the game Toe Jam and Earl, Panic and Funkotron, and also Toe Jam and Earl, Back in the Groove. It was originally composed by John Baker, and the arrangement was done by Cody Wright. I really liked both versions of this track, and both of them go for a really cool but kind of dirty sound as well. I think more so with the Genesis version than the modern version. And if I was to pick a favorite between the two, I actually prefer the modern version. That bass really slaps. I will admit that I've never played Toe Jam and Earl Panic and Funkotron, but I really love Back in the Groove, so maybe there is a little bit of bias there. But I just feel as though just listening to the two tracks back to back, I feel like they're two really strong tracks, but the modern one, I just like where it, what it does with the track. And I actually want to hear your guys' opinion on the two different versions of the track like which one do you prefer so i feel like most of you guys would probably prefer the genesis one but i feel like i could get a few people that will say they really like the modern one i think we're gonna switch gears a little bit and go for something a lot more fun with this next track and this was a carly pick she wanted me to play i've got a secret from the game putt putt Pep's birthday surprise, and this was composed by George Sanger. Quiet, that man's got a secret. I've got a secret. I just had to let you know. I've got a secret. A place you need to go. It's the party of the century that no one knows about. Simply everyone will be there. Do not let the secret out. And the secret way to act there, and the secret thing to wear, is to look your best and love everybody there. I could climb the highest mountain. I could shout it out all day. I could sing an operetta. There will be puppies and birthday gifts of cake. Sixteen tons of bunnies and duckies from the lake. And the limo from the mansion and the grocer from the store. And some Martians from a putt-putt game that you have played before. And the attitude to have there and the way to comb your hair is to look your best and love everybody there. Just look your best and love everybody there. Just look your best and love everybody there. That track that you just heard, that was I've Got a Secret from the game Putt Putt, Pep's Birthday Surprise, and that was composed by George Sanger. I think that's going to just about do it for the show this week. If you like what you've been listening to, have your friends check out the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, whatever podcatching service that you can think of. I'm more than likely going to be on there. You can email the show at vgmjourney at yahoo.com, and you could also check us out on Twitter at vgmjourney. I'm going to play things out with one more track, and it's a classic one. I wanted to play something from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 because I'm a little bit excited for that new movie. And it was hard to pick a track, so why don't I just go with the credits theme that is a medley of Sonic 2 music. So that's what we're going to end the show with. We're going to end the show with credits from the game Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and that was composed by Masato Nakamura. Have a good week, everyone.